your name, uh, what school you're, you were affiliated with, and why you were chosen teacher. Uh, my name is Ed Williams. Uh, I um, have been affiliated with a number of schools over uh, my career as a key coach. I started out at Charlotte Latin School in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been at Woodward Academy. I've been at Mayor School. And Calhoun is the last place. Calhoun High School is the last place that I uh, coached. Okay. And now you are retired. Um, do you miss anything about Oh, I miss it all the time. I, I love it. Um, I I still participate not as a full-time coach anymore. Um, I consult, I listen to my former colleagues and former friends uh, who are coaches. Oh, my, not former friends, but my friends who are coaches. And they ask questions and I, I listen to what they go through and debate. Uh, I still go out in the summer and visit institutes. Uh, so, I still like the game. What is unique about the debate community? Because you're playing, you're retired as a coach, but it, you do have so many different roles still within the debate community. What is so unique about it? What is so special about the debate community? Well, debate is, you know, a family. It's a, it's a place where people get accepted from lots of different backgrounds. Uh, you know, it's a place where uh, a kid from North Carolina, uh, is best friends with a kid who grew up in LA uh, and that those friendships get forced over years and you know my entire family is debate. I met my wife in debate uh, who was a debater. I met, you know my you know my best friend uh, is a debate coach. Uh, the best man in my wedding was a debate coach. Uh, so everything about the debate family and whenever I go to certain cities one of the things I do in, in my current job is that when I get there, is I, I, you know, I send out a message to my debate friends, and you know, and it's like, you know, I may not have seen them in five years, and it's like it's, it's just like the last time I saw them, uh, because we have a common language, which is I think is important for any family. Um, oh, I think it's one of uh, the greatest honors that have ever been bestowed on me. And I guess I gotta have the unique perspective in the sense that uh, I became a key coach at a very, very young age. Uh, I was a key coach uh, before my, I think I was 25, uh, 25, 26, one of those, 1995. So I've been a key coach for uh, 20 years. Uh, so I think for me, at a young age, it was a great honor because of all the people that I saw on the stage were people that I admired. Um, uh, my coach, my high school coach was a key coach, so I uh, put her in like the highest esteem. So I, I, I felt like I was now becoming part of a group of people that, um, like, it's one of those honors where I thought, you know, why in the world are they picking me? <laughs> uh, so. I, I, was, I was very honored, and I am still very, very honored to be a key coach, which is why I come back and participate in the events of the Barclay Forum. Um, what do you think is unique about the Barclay Forum for high school teachers and the The pageantry. I think that that's one of the things that I've seen happen over my career in debate is that part of what we've lost is the pop and pomp and circumstance of debate. I think the Berkeley Forum, the tradition, uh, I consider it kind of like the masters of the US Open or uh, those types of things is that there are certain things you do here that you don't do any place else and, and you do it because it is the Berkeley Forum and that kids need to learn that, that this is part of who we are as debaters and then the Barclay Forum is doing this purely for service to the high school community. Um, and that there should be an opportunity for kids to come together and that the pomp and circumstance is pretty cool. It, you know, and I think that that's awesome. Um, and so another thing that is uh, the tradition of the value of the HSC is 
commitment to, to be um, changing social justice. And again, you know, we're, we're starting out high schoolers. And so what do you think, what kind of impact do you think today? Tremendous amount. I mean, I guess I am, I'm a benefit. I, I, I benefited from being a part of this community and learning how to advocate as a high school, as a principal of a high school debate has taught me how to listen to all sides, um, analyze information, and then make a decision, both with my rational being, but also with my emotional being, because sometimes what the right thing to do isn't necessarily the most popular thing to do. Uh, I think that that's what debate teaches us, and I think that the social justice mission of the BF is great. I think our, I think kids need to learn how to advocate. They need to learn how to change the world. I think that when I first went into debate, I really, I really believed then, and I still believe now that debate changes the world, uh, because when you can eloquently articulate and make an argument to people that disagree with you, it you know that you're chipping away at their disbelief. And I think that every time I went in as a debater, uh, I represented something about my community uh, that helped change people's perceptions of black men, uh, helped to change people's perceptions about black people, uh, especially in a small place like North Carolina where there wasn't many, when I was debating, not many black men were debating. The, I guess my, one of my greatest memories, uh, I have two. Um, one of my greatest memories is the first time I came as a student uh, to the Berkeley Forum. Uh, uh, Judge Pelham was still an uh, integral part of the tournament, and I happened to go towards the back of where the BF, uh, of the duck, and I was going to the wrong place, and I did not know who Judge Pelham was. And he said, do you know that you're going to the, you know, why are you going that direction? I said, who are you talking to, right? And he, you know, was very nice and told me that I should be going in a different direction. And of course, I was like, and I left and I told my coach, I said, some old guy kept telling me that I needed to go do something, go a different direction. And, and I pointed to him and she said, that's Judge Pelham, who is the, uh, one of the directors of this tournament. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. Uh, and I guess my second greatest memory, one of the greatest memories is one that um, when the first time I had a team in the final round of the Barclay Forum, the whole process by which that team had to get to the stage and, and in front of them, standing in front of all of my uh, peers uh, and seeing them all come in in the procession and look over at the other side where my best friend was coaching the other team and the fact that we sat down afterwards, we sat down as the children are debating and we sat and talked about, you know, talked about it and how Right, it would be for either one of us to win, and then sitting on the stage and seeing, it, I guess it was a great memory and also deflating, is that Bill normally has two signs and he's waving his two signs. And so as I'm seeing him turn the two signs, is that I see the sign and I see a C. So I'm thinking, it's Charlotte Latin, we're gonna win this thing. And then by the time he gets it all the way turned, it's a, it's a G and it's green hell. And the fact that we had lost on a uh, 13 to 12 decision, so we lost by one ballot, um, it was both one of my greatest moments and one of, you know, a very sad moment for those students because I was, you know, excited for the opportunity to win, but I was also excited for the fact that uh, my colleague had won and um, 
you know, we ha we've had some epic battles over the years, and you know, and I, I guess getting back to the finals has always been one of the things that I remember about the Barclay Forum. It's, it's it never gets. Um, it, it's always great. It's always fun. And, um, what was the most memorable moment for you? Oh, I have a couple of messages. One, we as debaters need to learn, we as speakers, people in this community, need to learn how to talk to each other. Uh, we need to figure out ways that we intersect and we need to do things like go up and introduce ourselves, say hello. Um, I guess as a coach, as a person, I always pride myself, uh, prided myself on getting to know somebody that I didn't know at a tournament. Um, because you never know what you're going to learn from that relationship. Some of my great friends in debate are people that I introduce myself to. And I know that, that is, that's risky. You're taking a personal risk by doing that. But we're a community that's pretty open. And so no one's going to reject you by just for you just to say hello. And I think that saying hello helps change a lot of our misperceptions about each other. Is that it? Yeah. You good?